Hello YouTube, welcome back to my channel. If you are new, my name is Ofente and I make videos about natural hair, specifically type 4 hair. As you can see, I'm rocking my shrinkage today. If you're a returning viewer and subscriber, hello, thank you so much for coming back. Your support is greatly appreciated. Today's episode is going to delve into the truth about parabens. So parabens are organic chemical compounds that are used in a variety of different products as preservatives. So we can find them in skincare products, hair care products, in food as well as pharmaceutical drugs. So because they are colorless, odorless and inexpensive, they are widely used and have been used since 1923. They also have antibacterial benefits with action against Quite a few bacteria, including gram negatives that the medical community completely hates and wants to destroy. <laughs> and some are active against mold and yeast. They also prevent products from decomposing. So in essence, what parabens do is make our products last longer. And that's great, right? Because we don't want to waste our money. And that's on period. Okay, so what's the deal with parabens? I've been able to find two major issues that I'm going to discuss today and also dispel some myths surrounding um, those two issues. So firstly, we need to understand that we find parabens in so many different kinds of products from skincare, hair care, foods, um, medication. And the thing with parabens is that they're quite easily absorbed by the skin. So if you, if you apply something um, onto your body that has parabens in it, your body will readily absorb it via the skin, including hair products because we've got skin on our scalp. <laughs> oh my gosh, fun fact, scalp actually has, it's actually an acronym, and each letter stands for the different layers of the scalp. scalp. So the A, how cool. Anyway. <laughs> okay, so the first contentious issue about parabens is that there was a study that actually proved that um, they can cause hormonal imbalance. They've been found to have estrogenic effects. Now we all know that estrogen is regarded. Parabens are actually 10,000 times less potent than 17 beta estradiol, which is um, the estrogen that is found in the largest concentration in the female body. Another important thing to bear in mind is that there are guidelines that set the pre precedent on how much parabens can be used in products and at which concentrations they become unsafe and at which concentrations they're okay for he for use. There was a study done a while back um, on rats that indicated that parabens also reduce the amount of testosterone in the rats, resulting in lower sperm counts. As a result, um, many bodies around the world have decided to be a bit more strict in terms of the guidelines that um, regulate how much parabens are used in products all right so now we're going to debunk some myths um and i know i still need to discuss that second issue it's coming up just now okay so the first myth is that parabens are chemicals and therefore they are bad we hate them we don't want them they're evil they're going to kill us yeah anyway so parabens are actually naturally occurring substances and we can find them in quite a few foods such as Blueberries, barley, strawberries, yeast, olives, and grapes. So we just found a way to extract them and use them in a variety of different ways. But they're actually not necessarily man-made. We can find them um, naturally as well. Another myth and the second contentious issue that I've been able to read quite a bit about is that parabens cause cancer. So there's actually huge, um, huge contention around this issue and quite a lot of conflicting evidence about the link of parabens to breast cancer. There was a study that was um, released that somehow demonstrated the link and there were some studies that um, dispelled that link. Um, 
basically the information we have is conflicting and we don't have a set opinion yet as to whether or not parabens can increase your risk of breast cancer um however i'm just going to reference here um, in 2014, the European Commission banned the use of several parabens because there was a lack of information proving um, their safety. So it's not necessarily that there isn't enough information proving that they're dangerous, but there is also not enough information proving that they are safe. Um, not all of them, some of them. The American Cancer Society, on the other hand, found no evidence that parabens increase one's risk of breast cancer so uh, it's very it's very difficult to form an opinion on whether or not they're dangerous to our health um and i guess it's up to each individual to decide for themselves what they want to do um bearing in mind that there's conflicting information out there and there are also regulatory bodies that um, set the precedent on how much parabens, and by how much I mean the concentration, um, the concentration that is used in products. The FDA, as well as the Cosmetic Ingredient Review, uphold their opinion that parabens are safe. Sorry. Okay, so all of this information is wonderful, offensive, but what do you want me to do about it? Essentially, I, I want you guys to understand that there's conflicting reports around the danger risk or safety of parabens and that it is up to you to to read up and decide what you think about them also you can really just opt for products that use alternative um preservatives even though we we don't really know what the stance is on parabens you can just decide mm, better safe than sorry i'm gonna um, resort to buying products that use alternative preservatives such as phenoxyethanol, which is a great one <coughs> Yes, it is an alcohol <coughs> But it is a safe alcohol <coughs> It's not gonna dry us out <laughs> <coughs> Okay, so in conclusion, I just want to say that ongoing research is happening and we do need it to determine exactly what risk parabens may pose to humans and until then um i encourage all of you to just do your research and make a decision that suits you and your hair um and yeah and that's pretty much it for this episode of